Hello and welcome to Up Degree. This is Sujay, your instructor for the OpenCV practical course. And uh, in the previous videos, uh, we went through the uh, introduction and the course curriculum that we will be covering in this uh, course. And uh, I think it is time for us to start. So uh, coming to the main question, what is OpenCV? So OpenCV is a library of uh, programming functions modules that are mainly aimed at uh, real-time computer vision. So what exactly is computer vision? So computer vision is uh, that uh, domain of uh, computer science which mainly deals with uh, images and videos uh, that, uh, that correspond to our sight. So we see uh, our world in the form of a video and we process them in the form of images. So a processing of these images and videos by a computer is called as computer vision. So this OpenCV as a project was uh, originally developed by Intel and later it was supported by Willow Garage, then it sees, which was again later acquired by Intel. So this library is a cross-platform library and it is free for use under the open source BSD license. So what does it mean by the word cross-platform? Cross-platform means that OpenCV can be run in on many platforms including different types of CPU architectures and different OSs. So for example, the OpenCV can be run on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, FreeBSD, uh, Unix and all sorts of operating systems. And uh, it can also run on 32-bit and 64-bit uh, architectures. So that is why this library is called as a cross-platform library. And it is an open source software. So what does open source mean? So open source means that uh, we have access to the source code. And if we want to change the OpenCV or add new features to OpenCV, we can just download the source code and uh, make changes to it as we see fit. So that is why it is called as an open source with a BSD license. Now OpenCV also supports uh, deep learning frameworks that are uh, in vogue right now such as TensorFlow, Torch, PyTorch and Cafe. So officially OpenCV was uh, launched in uh, 1999. It was uh, initially an Intel research initiative to advance uh, CPU intensive applications. So it was part of a series of projects including uh, ray tracing and 3D displays. So the main contributors to the project included a number of uh, optimization experts from uh, Russia as well as uh, Intel's own performance library team. In, in the early days of OpenCV, the goals of the project were uh, described as advanced uh, vi vision research by providing not only open but also optimized code for basic vision infrastructure. So basically for all the basic uh, vision or uh, image and video processing, uh, the main objective was to build an open sourced optimized code that can run in real time. So uh, a decade ago, what used to happen was if you wanted to write a simple computer vision application, you had to reinvent the wheel, sit down and write all the algorithms, everything by yourself. But uh, the vision of this project was that you don't have to write everything by yourself. Most of the algorithms are uh, pretty standard algorithms. And once you implement them, you can just reuse these modules instead of you sitting and writing your own modules. Thus, there is no more reinventing of the wheel. The second vision of this project was to disseminate vision knowledge by providing a common infrastructure that developers could build on so that uh, there is a common infrastructure that everyone can see uh, where the project is heading and can contribute in whatever way they can. So the code is more e readily readable and it is transferable. So everyone knows what is happening inside the code and they can easily uh, start contributing to the code and uh, make it better and better. So this is one of the interesting aspects of any open source software. When you make an open source software, developers from all over the world come in and they can contribute their code to the software. And uh, this not only keeps the software open, it also keeps it uh, free of uh, bugs and uh, free of security concerns because the software is open. And also because everyone around the world is uh, adding features to this software, uh, this software will, uh, will contain most of the algorithms that we would ever need for any computer vision problem. So the other vision of this was the advanced vision-based commercial applications by making portable performance-optimized code available for free. 
so this means that uh, making open cv itself open and uh, optimized to run uh, fast means that uh, other people can use this code to build their own commercial applications and make the world a better place so the first uh, alpha version of OpenCV was released to the public at IEEE conference on uh, computer vision and pattern recognition in 2000 and five betas were released between uh, 2001 and 2005. So uh, the second major release of OpenCV was in October 2009. So OpenCV 2 includes major changes to the C++ interface. So one important thing to note that is that OpenCV is written in C++ and its primary interface is in C++. So what does this mean? That means OpenCV itself, that is the core software, is uh, written uh, in the C++ language. One of the main reasons being that C++ is a very fast language and has very slow runtime. That means code written in C++ runs very fast. And uh, this is especially useful because we will be uh, building real-time uh, uh, computer vision applications and for that we need blazingly fast processing. That's why OpenCV is written in C++. Now, even though OpenCV is written in C++, it has multiple interfaces. That means these interfaces are uh, can be used by other languages to provide support in other languages. That means the interfaces of uh, C++, which is written in uh, C++, uh, can be implemented in Python, enabling us to use OpenCV in Python also. Uh, so this uh, makes it a very versatile module and therefore we will be using OpenCV in Python. So uh, applications of OpenCV areas include augmented reality, motion tracking, structure from motion, stereopsis, segmentation and recognition, object identification, motion understanding, mobile robotics, uh, human computer interaction gesture recognition facial recognition systems and so on and so forth so open cvs applications as you can see is uh, widespread and uh, it is used in almost all of the computer vision related uh, software so to support uh, some of these areas, OpenCV has had to include a lot of machine learning libraries uh, that contain many algorithms such as uh, k-nearest neighbors, deep neural networks, random forest, naive bays, and decision trees. Now, although these are uh, the main forte of machine learning algorithms, most of these algorithms are uh, required in computer vision problems. Hence, uh, the decision to include all of this in OpenCV. One of the uh, important uh, features of OpenCV that made it so powerful is that there are bindings in Python, Java and MATLAB or Octave programming languages. Therefore, it's not uh, necessary for you to learn C++ in order to start using OpenCV in order to build your own applications. This has enabled a lot of uh, developers who, do, who even though they do not know C++, they have used other languages such as Python, Java, JavaScript and uh, MATLAB in order to uh, build their applications. This has made this uh, OpenCV a very popular framework indeed. Now one more reason for this uh, framework to be very popular is the fact that this can run even on Android and other mobile applications. So what this enables us uh, to do is this enables us to build applications uh, that can run on mobile phones and as we can see in the real world mobile phones are much more than computers and uh, having them uh, and having them perform computer vision applications is a very good advantage for us. Therefore, we have millions of developers across the world who are using OpenCV in order to build computer vision applications. So that's it for this video and in the next video we will start uh, getting our hands dirty and uh, we will start setting up the environment in which we are going to develop our sample applications in OpenCV.